Governor Cuomo recently said that when 70% of adults in New York State have at least a single COVID shot, most of the pandemic restrictions can be lifted. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. It's been a slow climb, but based on data reported to the state Friday, we're at 69.5% ever so close to that mark. As we hear from Channel 2's Dave McKinley, though, some people are not waiting for the governor to wave that checkered flag. I've just been ready to get back to normal. And though there's been no official declaration that we are, you wouldn't have known it at the Elmwood Porch Fest. Throngs of folks strolling the avenue and attending parties on various and sundry side streets throughout the Elmwood Village. I feel really excited that we can be out and about and see each other without having a mask over our face. Although current CDC guidance has it that for large outdoor gatherings like this, you should still wear one unless vaccinated. As we hardly saw anyone doing that, it leaves the presumption that either they've all gotten the jab or they've moved on to deciding for themselves what is best for them. It's definitely weird. Um, you're kind of trusting everybody, but it's all in good spirits so far, at least for my experience. And some not wearing masks said they still keep them handy. And I do have my mask, so if I get into a crowd other than my family, I can put it on because I think we still need to be careful while we're having fun. But almost as often as he talks about returning to normal, the governor is often fond of using the phrase the new normal. So what does that mean? That people are going to be worried more about, you know, airborne illnesses. Delius Thomas thinks the masks won't fade entirely when the pandemic does, especially next cold and flu season, as has been the norm in other parts of the world for generations. That wasn't something that I feel like was the norm here. I feel like that, that might be something that we're going to pick up. And as an IT professional, he has a strong hunch the way we had to learn to work during the pandemic won't disappear when it's over. Either hybrid, where we're in the office maybe a couple times a week, or even fully remote, um, just because it's been going well. So even if we're not there yet, perhaps today was cause to celebrate that we almost are, and to enjoy that in a way perhaps most aptly put by Cheryl Quinn. That feels good. It feels like a shot in the arm. <laughs> Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.